Today I wanted to talk about the current state of Call of Duty Warzone and how in my opinion I feel about it right now during the Season 4 Reloaded update. Bearing in mind that I haven't been playing it as much since Modern Warfare 2 was released and I just haven't felt like it's engaged my attention enough. But don't get me wrong, I really want to enjoy this game and I'm not going to stop playing it anytime soon, but there's just a few things in my opinion that let it down and other games that currently feel better to play that I want to put more of my time into. I wish I could say I enjoy Call of Duty now as much as I did in the past, but I think I'd be lying to myself if I thought otherwise. Now, just a quick backstory before we get into this. As a whole, I was pretty much brought up on Call of Duty and as a 90s kid, I've always had the joy of playing all the Call of Duties from the start and the reason I love gaming so much is mainly because of COD. Especially World at War with its gritty feel and creepy vibe of World War 2 and its introduction to Nazi Zombies, which was so unexpected and brilliant at the time. Modern Warfare, which was the first introduction to modern guns and maps to the franchise, and the pinnacle in my opinion, the game that changed the industry, Modern Warfare 2, and it was also around the time I started watching Call of Duty on YouTube. Now, after Black Ops 1 and 2, I'm sorry to say, I did take a hiatus from gaming and I put it on the back shelf as I was too busy living my life as a teenager, which some of you, or all of you, can relate. I did jump on occasionally, but never stayed on for hours like I did in the past until fast forward to 2019 when Modern Warfare came out and then Warzone as we all know and love today came out shortly after in 2020. This is what got me hooked back into gaming, especially that it was more settled at this point, in other words I stopped having a life outside of work and home. So now fast forward again and Warzone has been out for 3 years now, almost 4, with many ups and downs which is to be expected with any game, but Call of Duty has some exceptions. In my opinion, I think Warzone from March 2020 to December 2021 were the best days of Warzone, especially due to the lockdown days, where I do believe it revitalised a lot of old card fanatics and new gamers alike. Not to mention all the gamers that were still playing card or all the ones that were jumping over to give card a try. I did continue playing once Cardera took over our beloved Vidansk, but a lot of you might agree, I just don't think it was hitting the same as Vidansk and using modern weaponry and kill streaks. So naturally, when Caldera was coming to an end, a lot of people were crying out for the new Modern Warfare. I myself was excited for the new map of Al Mazra and the new engine that was going to come with it, but again, I was just a little disappointed when it did come out. The game felt clunky and slow, and it's probably just because we were all used to the slide cancelling and fast movement, but I think they took more of a classic BR approach this time around, with the looting system change, which I couldn't get my head around at the start, and like I said already, the nerfing of the movement. What made Call of Duty's Warzone stand out from the rest from the beginning was I feel it was doing its own thing and being original, but with those changes in the movement and the looting system, I think it was a step back. It's like the saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Who knows, maybe they did want to replicate the movement from Modern Warfare 2019, but couldn't on the new engine. I'm not too sure how easy or how hard that actually is to do. Where the new looting system did make sense was on DMZ which was a fresh new mode to try out and it was fun to play if you're into extraction type shooters and maybe is a good introductory to those style of games. The multiplayer never changes as in you spawn, you shoot, kill, die, repeat. And I do enjoy hopping onto Shipman 24-7 for mindless playstyle, it's always a good laugh and it never takes itself seriously so on that side of things I wouldn't have much to comment about that. With everything being said, I want to enjoy Call of Duty at the moment, but any time I get on, I just don't find myself enjoying it. And maybe it's because I'm comparing it to how it made me feel back in 2020 to now, but even with the gimmicky things like adding superpowers in collaboration with the boys, to even back when they did the King Kong vs Godzilla event, I just don't think they need to go down that route to get people involved. It is always the core fundamentals which make a game good, and when it comes to card, I feel maybe the more simple the better. I'm still going to play Call of Duty Warzone, I do enjoy it in small doses, but until they sort some things out, I just won't be playing it as much as I did. Or in saying that, maybe I should just give it more of a chance and see what happens. I'd love to hear your views and your opinions on the current state of Call of Duty and the direction that it is going in right now, and if you agree or disagree with any of the things I spoke about. So please, comment down below, and if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thank you guys for staying on to the end if you're still watching. We didn't quite get the win in this game, but there was a couple of clutch moments in it, especially at the start where that guy had the draft on me and he didn't even kill me. I should have been dead. Make sure to subscribe with the bell icon on so you don't miss any of my latest streams and videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.